Hey, brown clown. That's the brown clown. She's one of my best layer. He loves clover. There's Kevin. And he'd probably like it too, but no matter how much he, I throw in, he seems to share it all with her as she comes for some more. A little timid because of the, because of the camera, but... Come on, brown clown. Come on. Have some more. Yeah, throw the rest in the bar. Check a nest. I like to clean this cage, but I don't want to disturb them. Yeah. She built a nice nest, so... Um, see what's this? No. I just got the two bob white dummy eggs in there for now. And I keep in there because they got a habit of breaking eggs, so I put them in there to and I get a tired of eggs so they don't eat them. And then I'm gonna clean this crummy cage. Well, that's so tame. That's oh yeah, how about that? Look at that. Yeah, I'm talking about having them lay in the nest. And there's one that's not in the nest box. Once in a while you get that too. So nice egg from the brown clown and it's red. I get one not in the nest box. It hasn't been picked or cracked, but here it is. Alright, that's three so far this morning. Little Edwina, she lays a egg, a uh, nice size egg, but the first four or five aren't fertile, so I swap males. Maybe the next one will do his thing. I hate that when a candle or Murren's egg and no fertility or any egg really, but especially them. This is a little automatic turn. I go to one of the little hover baiters. Keep my eggs turning down here all the time. Uh, let's see, I got 15 Merns eggs so far. Some of the last of the mountains. Uh, they broke these Merns broke ones. I put some nail polish over it, and the mountains actually broke one. They don't usually do that, but I got one there. If they're not cracked too bad, it usually works, but sometimes it doesn't. But, yeah, I got. A few settings of Mern's eggs, a couple more settings of mountains, and that's pretty much it. Shut this off. It's cool down here. It's uh, that's why I keep them down here. It's only about 63, and you know the eggs are cool to the touch. So you know, I've always done it, and you know, I can save them up to a week, maybe more. I don't like to save them more than a week, but I do uh, some once in a while, not not very often. And uh, they're always, you know, still fertile, still good. It hasn't fizzled out by then, so. Yeah, well, shut her off. Write a name on the egg, and uh, so I keep track of who's who. And uh, I hatch them in all separate hatches, and my leg band them. And, uh, that's that. i got to get busy.